in this session we have to learn how to create a content application and part react as we knew react is going to be popular content remember here so react application creation so to create any react application we use a simple command here like create React app, create hyphen React app, and then hit application. Whatever the application we want to create, that application name we have to mention. So to do this, first we have to create one folder where we want to store our uh, our React application. First, go to that particular folder and open that folder, and there you just create create React app through command from okay so now I already I created one folder here that folder name is something like some visual part folder here I will show you in presentation that folder name okay so this is the folder I just created in B drive and I would like to open the command from and there I want to go to that address folder that is E Here I want to create React application. Right? So if you want to create React application, just now so let's create React app and then which application we want to create that application we have to mention. So I just want to create one simple application where the list of movies will be there and for them we'll be applying some filtering that is like you know searching searching and as well as Sorting that one. Okay, so just I'm creating one name here uh, for that application that is movies list. And press enter so that will be created under visual path. It will take some time. Okay, and meanwhile, we will see here if you take any web based application in this world, so definitely two systems will be involved. That is. A server system and as well as client so the small one we consider the client system and this one is the server system server system usually be located in the remote places and client systems are nothing but the desktop laptop mobile phones tablets whatever you do all can come under Client system. So to connect with this server, there will be one web application will be there. So through which we will be sending some request continuously to the server, and that request will be taken by the server, and the request will be processed. And as per the request, the respective response will be generated, and the same response will be sent back to the client from the if all this has to happen in this client, definitely what we'll be using, we'll be using something like you know, browser we'll be using, and inside that browser we'll be opening the application. Whatever may be the application you might have created, that application will be opening in the client's browser and through which we'll be connecting to the server. Right? Okay, so in our particular application. We are going to create a small React application, new application there, and with, with some details will be displayed here, and searching will be happened, and as well as searching also will be done. So that I just explain an example for you. So in our application, what will be will be doing? So first will be creating our React application. So in that, the main module will be there. It is app dot js will be there. In that all the things will be displayed here. Whatever you want to display, that will be mentioned here. The main components, whatever we create, that will be directly linking to this one. This app dot js there will be displaying. And next important what here is the 
be creating something like a searching filter will be creating for the movies that is movie search filter searching filter you can write what to do you want here so i just want to create a file like movie search filter in this particular file i want to search the movie in new zealand so i just start the movie so if i want to search or start the movie search there should be movies there the number of movies should be there is some details here so for that what i will be doing here is first i will be preparing one ready made list of movies with particular details here yeah? so for that i just would like to create a json file which is a predefined data which contains some predefined data here yeah? so in this we will be having list of movies will be there here yeah? But in real time case, what will be happening here is this data, whatever it is, whether it is movies or whatever the application may be, the data will come from some other system. That is, based on the database, the data is really some. But here, as we already mentioned, in the starting we are interested only in the front end. Here. So that is the reason I don't want to develop any database for this separately. For side, I do not want to develop. So for that to happen, if I do not develop, but still I need the data, right? So that is the reason a ready-made data source I'm creating. That is a JSON file. In that, I will be making the list of movies with particular details. And then, how to apply some filtering on that? How to apply some sorting on that? So that I will be doing in this movie search filter. .js. In this the main functional I will be writing. So next, I will be simply linking. This particular movie search filter to this app dot .js so that what I have the data will be and to have some kind of styling purpose already we have app right app dot .js will be there in the same way we have something like app dot .css so from where we'll be getting this app dot .js and app dot .css so once we are done with the project creation in that project only we'll be having all these folders here. So already we started creation of project right by typing create react I think this yeah it's completed now we observe this right here initialization everything all all related packages were installed here right it will be showing the time like that is happening next yes project is created but with no data here so now if I want to develop something through that project then definitely we have to open that in any of the editor so i will be using visual studio code so directly you can open visual studio code by using one command like code space dot so that directly will be opening in the visual studio code yeah so here i type this code space dot in visual path Right, this folder that is the reason the entire work folder has opened here, which path in that HTML, some other stuff also there. But we don't want that the movie list is the only thing which you are concentrating, right? So then you can simply type here CD in that visual path. What is our project name just now we created, right? Movie list, and now here from here we can able to open the now yeah the particular project is open so in that if you observe the source folder which is containing app.js and some test and all these test and all testing and some other purpose here so here uh, the important file is app.js and app.js is for simply sign purpose you click on this app.js and here you observe some logo and all some normal stuff will be there so if you want to run this particular application then just to go to the command prompt you can go there or directly you can open the command prompt in the visual studio code also here on the top terminal will be there and there you can click for the new terminal and then you can able to do that so i hope you are able to see this one yeah right terminal you can you can click on the new terminal and here only directly you can able to Run the application to run that application we have to use the command called 
10 pm start just wait for a while it will take some time to run in the browser in your system whatever may be the default browser in that browser it will be starting yeah. it's opening right yeah. yes you can have a look on this guys the edit source app.js file to save and and reload so whatever the changes you want to make in this application you can do now so simple uh, what i'm doing here is i just want to write something and i want to click here something is there like text yeah. and save to reload something is there like here here i'm displaying something like hello some text like hello i'm just pressing control s and here so directly it will be reloaded so no need of refreshing the directly it will be reloaded so that's the advantage of react so now our duty is the application is ready now means the prototype is ready for us to develop so we have to edit this app.js in accordance with our project that is like we have to import this movie subscription.js file in the app.js file and then later the main business functionality we have to write in this subscription.js and through which we have to filter the data which is coming from the movie data.json and as well as we have to start the data clear right 